Hello and welcome back. Joyce Adidison here, interpersonalwellness.com. And oh my goodness, we are on day eight of the Emotional Wellness Cleansing Challenge. This is an opportunity for us to just clear out all these negative emotions that's been holding us back and preventing us from getting to that point we need to get to in our life. Today, we're going to talk about criticism. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Do you find yourself criticizing others? Oh, I can't believe. Look at her. Look at the way she dressed. Like, pfft. Women, I'm talking to you from the sisterhood. We're really good at doing that. This is something I have learned a long time ago. It's not to say that the guys don't criticize, but us females tend to have a special chromosome for criticism. <laughs> I want to disrupt that because it's, it is so destructive. It, you know, it's very, very destructive. There are a lot of, I get called into a lot of mother-daughter conflicts, uh, sibling conflict between sisters because this person is not living the right life. And this, like, you have a sister, you have a sibling that you could enjoy your life with. This is the person who knew you when you were beautiful. When you're 99 and you have no teeth, this is the only person who's going to remember how cute you were when you were little. And you have all these years to spend building and cherishing them and you spend your time criticizing them and cutting them out of your life because they are not good enough or they're, you don't like their lifestyle or they're too whatever, whatever you've been criticizing. Anytime you find yourself commenting negatively about somebody's action, their behavior, their choices or their lifestyle, that is criticism. Yes. We may not like the choices others may make. We may not have the same values as they do. But when we adopt the spirit of criticism, it's an emotional accelerator, right? And in these in these emotional wellness program, what we do, we're not just identifying the emotions, but we're looking at some of the accelerators that move us into a negative place and brings on a lot of negative emotions into our life and into our, our network. So criticism is heavy. It is disempowering. It is degrading. Nobody likes to be criticized. Just, just think of yourself. When was the last time you felt criticized? And it might be yesterday, it might be, if you have a spouse who is very critical, that can be, that can cause havoc. This is actually the cause of a lot of divorces and separation and domestic conflict, right? You know, some of my clients tell me stories about the, and, and sometimes we criticize our spouses in front of our children. Talk about damaging to the self-esteem of your children and to your partner. We need to be careful. We criticize our co-workers. We have leaders criticizing their colleague, their fellow leader, to their subordinates. That's a sin in my book. <laughs> I don't mean to be judgmental, but there are times, there are certain things that we should just not get ourselves into doing. But well, we'll talk about that sermon another time. Today, I want us to focus in on criticism. Because when we start criticizing, we are distracting from the other person. We're taking away from them. If you cannot add value, then you should keep quiet. So if someone comes to you today and criticizes another person, or they do it in your hearing, I want you to just ask them, is there anything about that person that's valuable that we should be focusing on? Because what you pay attention to is what you're going to see more. If you look at me, you know, you're like, oh, she's whatever. Whatever you don't like about the person, that's what you're going to pay attention to. So you need to start looking at the positive things. What are the strengths of the person? What are the gifts they have? And how can you help to that person to increase? and not decrease. So that's your exercise today. Go in the journal, um, go ahead, journal. If you have a journal, go ahead on the discussion forum. Talk to me in my blog, tell me what is it you are doing differently and what did you, what is this new emotion? What is this bringing up for you? And how are you learning to do things differently in terms of criticism? And sometimes we don't realize we're being critical. 
and we need to be reminded and we need to be, you know, jogged like, hey, you're being critical. So who are you who are you recognizing today? Who are you reminding? And of course, the reminder for yourself and how are you switching that up and saying, how can I add value? How can I build up? So that's your challenge today. And I will see you for the next day. Bye now. Have a great one.